bring us if I think we're joining us. This is a chat portion of the webinar. All right, uh, thank you for posting your questions. All right, go do right, any messages from higher self. Uh, just, just continue to do what you're doing. So like you're clearing out some blockages uh, with your mother. You know, just, you know, with the ends that unresolved issues there. It's on an energy level. Any messages from main guide? Uh, just good to keep on uh, working on new things, new projects as soon as I open up your abilities and just uh, just to yeah, just if there's something new you want to look into. It may not happen instantly, but it's just good to explore new uh, endeavors. Hobbies, whatever it might be. Rachel? Uh, last week, my cousins were visiting. On one of the days, it seems like the slot machines were just excited to be played. As we were to play them, I was sending them love. They gave love in return, however, we uh how how are the slots connecting to me um uh, yeah i i don't know if you had any winnings or anything like that but uh yeah they're giving me a positive karma uh back over the, yeah it's like they like they have a lot of heavy energy so you can always visualize it with just a wider frequency, which technically we're doing. Like a, an angelic, uh, yeah, um, like you look at it from a disable light frequency. Technically you're doing that, but uh, if you give it more power, it'd probably give you some coin, possibly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it did appreciate what you were doing because it picks up on the emotions of everybody. Question two, my uncle Dan has terminal cancer. I believe this is illness, is karmic. What do we need to pass life to pay for this? Uh, yeah, he killed people, um, like in war. And he didn't want to serve his time to, you know, reverse the issue. You know, like do some, some good work. I become a priest, not a, a bad priest, but you know, so just to give to others, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like that, but I think you understand. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll just leave it at that. You know? One message. Is this, what is message uh, from Spirit at this time? Well, just in the building blocks of, uh, I would say, exploring new things, maybe business opportunities. It's up to you. Question two, I had a wasp in my house twice last week. What is the meaning of this message? Mm. Uh, yeah, they don't have the best vibes. So, yeah, you say there's some darker elements around, but you're okay. But just, you know, that's okay. Just put your energy out there. I mean, it happens too. So just uh, put your energy protections out there. Doesn't mean it's going to stop them, but you never know. Uh, Jane, today Wendy and I were in a our gila forest where we wandered through. Sam, most wonderful large field of wild blue iris. Are there any messages concerning these flowers? Uh, just uh, you both you're connecting to your blue fairy frequency. Something I hear blowing positive energies to the earth so you know, like this is how the two of you connect to the earth and uh so when you're combined when you're when the two of you are near each other there's a reason behind it it's not just that you're just hey let's just hang out i feel like there's more to it than that any other messages regarding our forest sounding i don't know if there's any deer out in that area but 
it feels like you are connected to the deer if they're there or not. There's some connection there of I don't know, speaking to the the land just has to do with uh, your messengers there. So there's also some gnomes in the area I can pick up on. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? Uh, it feels like you're clearing out some blockage and stuff away from, you know, you're technically going into the new year. Of course, we're kind of, I mean, it feels like you're finally addressing the new year. Which is good just to uh, have a wider experience overall. Any messages for me from, from Mother Mary? Like you're clearing out some static energy uh, from family members that could be all, that you're carrying a lot. So you're definitely doing a lot of energy work around family members that are having a lot going on. And Priscilla just showed up. Uh, the cat Priscilla, if anyone's wondering, she's helping out. <laughs> uh, what's uh, Crystal? Uh, what's wrong with my health? I feel very weak. Did someone do something to me? No, there's no curse or magic. No, just there's some negative energy. Just uh, I don't know if you have a work situation. Uh, it just seems like there's just, and the earth is going through a lot too. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about this whole curse and magic thing. You know, but it feels like, yeah, you're kind of clearing out your lower chakras. I mean, it happens. Well, you're, you're going up into a higher frequency, so some our beings are going to pay an unpleasant visit every once in a while. What connections do I have with old with my old cat, uh, Madhu? Um... Uh, it feels like a male energy adventure. Like you've been in other worlds with him. Both of you are very curious going on different adventures. Just, you know, so what kind of adventures is this, you know, outside adventures, just, you know, whatever that might be. He's not really making me clear about it. Travel adventures, you can say. Uh, Gerald just noticed. I see now it's a strong connection with the animal, the moose. I have a lot of objects with them. I don't know. Oh, why my nickname? We nickname our dog Charlie, the moose, aunt, uh, a lot as well. Any messages? Uh, yeah, you basically come from yeah the moose collective. You can say. Well, you've been on, like, ranches and things like that, you know, like, you know, territory. It feels like, I don't know where the mooses are, and I feel, uh, oh, this cat's driving me here crazy. Oh, Priscilla. Yeah, I've been somewhere else to go. Um, I can uh, I don't know if they have mooses in. Uh, I feel like India. I get the energy of India. I don't know if they have any. I don't know. It could be Indiana, but I don't know. Just. Yeah, yeah, they're not being clear. I have to move on. But anyway, you just have a connection to mooses in you know, previous lifetimes. So, recently been speaking to my oldest friend, Rebecca, again. I seem very connected if I'm going through some... If I'm going through some time. So she is wondering my connection if I'm helping her. Oh, uh, yeah, astrally, yes. Uh, something to do like her childhood energies are clearing when she was growing up. I feel like you're doing some clearing there. Some things there she can't uh, release. She's having trouble releasing some uh, blockages there. Guys, Moses, does my higher self have a message? 
Uh, yeah, there's some challenges coming in, but just the idea is testing your faith in yourself. And just the more that you just stay strong through this, you'll get through it. But you're just worrying more about yourself. Is there any reason that my sights and my smell don't work that well in this lifetime? Uh, I can do surgeries. I don't recommend the surgeries, though. I mean, I feel like it's your genetics. It's just your family heritage. It's just, uh, you can say it is karmic connection, connected. But a lot of people can't smell uh, sights. Yeah, you just, you know, some of us are only, you know, yeah, some genetics, some people are just, they're just never developed that well throughout the family line. Just the way it is. Um, yeah, is, is there any messages from my higher self? Just, uh, yeah, just clearing out blockages. Block, just connect to the fairies, the singing fairies. Yeah, just, um, I mean, you're, you're like a mountain fairy. Um, so mountains and fairy worlds, that seems to be your deck of the woods. And my spirit guide's been trying to connect with me lately. They've always, they always connect. You're never gone. They're never, they're always there. I mean, it seems like they're cheerful overall. You just not always be able to feel it. I mean, you connect in music. That's the way they connect with you. You know, different types of music help you out. They call me here because your mind is always busy. Guys, cats, it's just driving me nuts. <laughs> Uh, Miguel, any messages about the air quality in LA? Yeah, don't breathe the air. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's. Oh, it's good to have some kind of air cleaner where you live. <laughs> it's not horrible, though. Will cause anything in the future. Just do what you feel like you need to do on that level. Any other messages? Uh, just concentrate on your what you want to attract, your you know, good luck, things that you want to manifest in your life. Just uh, just keep doing what you're doing, a Amy. Any messages from my guides? Uh, is it, yeah, they send you about a lot of times around uh, short people, uh, you know, like uh, they call them midget people in your past. We've been part of the circus in your past life somewhere. In some reality. Uh, any, yeah, I feel like the bearded woman too has been there. Any messages from my galactic friends? Yeah, there's a strong Palladian energy. It is helping you uh, keep your vibration going. And you do have a fairy frequency that you bring in. They're just helping you uh, focus, which is working. I mean, your connection to the canine, to dogs, is very powerful, as you probably know. Well, Pamela, any messages for me? I just feel like you're doing a lot of energy cleansing, clearing of any of those that are around you that cause you difficulty, like in your past. Like the teenager years, feel like you're clearing those energies. Any messages from my dad who crossed in 1997? I don't know. He's happy where he is. He's very lighter frequencies. He's enjoying his his life. He's a, he just uh, yeah, it's like a bouncing ball. <laughs> Not exactly, but he's just uh, yeah, he's. He's helping you connect more to the spirit realm, actually. Calm uh, the frequencies. Uh, Chris, will payment reserve be removed by sort any time in this week? Uh, it feels more like next week. It's not clear. Maybe next week. There's, it's like they're pretty slow to move. Which country would change, have cheapest prices for crystals to buy? Possible straight from mines? Yeah, the mines would be good. It's not clear. I mean, maybe Russia, maybe. 
I feel Russia, but I don't know if you can get anywhere with them. Let's keep exploring. You'll find, you'll figure. Yeah, it's up from the mines would be good. Yeah, you'll figure. Well, it's good to start small or locally if you can. Uh, Moesh, I mean, connections to the crystal skulls. Uh, yeah, but it's in more of the higher realities. I feel like you have created your own crystal skulls in higher dimensions. Question two, what message from source? Well, they showed you in like previous lifetimes, you've been a bald like a monk in your past. Um, I don't know how your hair is in this life, but it feels like in past life. You've had a lot of lifetimes with no hair, and that's just for you to connect with the spirit realms. So, you know, all of it has a connection. And that's something you can think about. You don't have to go out and shave your head, but it's something to think about when you uh, open up your abilities. You can always visualize yourself with no hair. And they're not going to manifest that. It just helps you with your spirit connections. Or you can just visualize your crown chakra. Eric, can two different, different planets combine? Both have don't touch. Hmm. Yeah, I believe so. That's kind of, it feels that's kind of complicated, but yes. Our nocturnal, nocturnal animals, mostly aliens from plants that don't live around outside of our planet. All, 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 the, all the animals are alien. I don't care what anybody says. They're all alien. They have some significant connection. So it's just they live, yeah, they all live in different environments. So, especially the feline is definitely an alien. Um, yeah. We look at all the different types of insectoids. I think there's new species of insectoid that we're not even aware of. So, there's new ones that keep appearing, which is crazy when you think about it. Uh, Jess, what message is my higher self half of me? My relationship with uh, Samba. Uh, just don't rush, don't rush into anything too quickly. Take your time. But insight, guys, does Archangel Michael have for me? Oh, you're just doing a lot of blending of the energies. You're just doing a lot of energy releasing of uh, insecurities of the past. So you actually are finding a way of uh, manifesting. So yeah, you're eventually you'll find a new job. You'll get out of your situation. The time's right. Um, uh, Vasco, any messages from Archangel Michael? Feels like you're letting go a lot of mother in law energies. <laughs> Or I don't know if she's her mother-in-law right now, but if, either way, it feels like you're releasing a lot of the. That's some heavy energy coming from her, or potential mother-in-law. However, you want to look at that. Mm -hmm. Any wisdom from a higher self? Yeah, it feels like you're time traveling in the higher dimensions a lot. I mean, I would say that you're more of a time travel, time traveler, so that some of that will start to. Come back to you over time. So, all right. So, uh, thanks for everyone posting your questions. All right, blessings.